welcome to simplify pharma first of all i want to thank all my viewers for the overwhelming response in quality by design part 1 video and this is a reason i have come with quality by design part 2 of that video in which we will discuss various steps that are involved in quality by design in the previous video we saw the principles of qbd in which it was qbd means planning quality into the product that's why we say it quality by plan and not by chance qbd facilitates improvement in quality by thoughtful planning and meaningful execution that's why we can say the objective of qbd the main objective is to achieve quality product QBD is based on how materials and process parameters they affect quality profile of final product. Now the applications of QBD if used properly a QBD approach can help address issues early in the product development process and prevent failures at an advanced state of development. Nowadays if you'll see uh, especially in pharmaceutical industries they no longer can carry out any project without taking into consideration the ICH guidelines and since QBD is a part of ICH guideline that's why the pharmaceutical industry nowadays they have to follow QBD approach the application of QBD in product design and process design it is based on good understanding of sources of variability and manufacturing process the qbd is based on materials and process parameters and how they affect the quality of the final product here we can see different steps involved in qbd there are six different steps that are involved in qbd defining the product profile that invo involves defining the tpp and qtpp tpp is target product profile and qtpp is quality target product profile this is the step 1 then step 2 is to identify critical quality attributes then step 3 is to carry out risk assessment after that once we have carried out a risk assessment we can determine the critical material attributes and critical process parameters on that basis we can establish a design space and describe control strategy which which constitutes of using statistical process control and then the last step is the continuous improvement it's like a life cycle management so this is overall a continuous process these six steps you have to keep in mind if you have to understand qbd more in detail in next video i will cover different stages of qbd in detail now if you remember in our previous video we saw qbd begins with predefined objectives and emphasizes on product and process understanding and process control in order to initiate a successful qbd program the first step is to identify those process parameters that are essential to product quality and develop well validated analytical methods to monitor those parameters now in similar manner if we take a look at the steps of qbd uh, the uh, as we saw them previously now on the basis of product understanding and process understanding we can see the first two steps of qbd they are more about product understanding whereas the third and fourth step is more about process understanding and the control strategy it is mainly of two types process control strategy and analytical control strategy let us see these steps in detail on the basis of product understanding and process understanding now the step 1 that is to define product profile tpp and qtpp that is target product profile and quality target product profile so when we say to define a product profile that is to define desired quality char characteristics of the product let's take a simple example for example we want to buy a mobile phone so for that mobile phone before buying that mobile phone we have to understand what are the desired 
characteristics that we require in the mobile phone for example the screen should be 6.5 uh, inches long then the camera should be minimum 60 megapixel then the ram the internal memory space all these things they are the characteristics of the mobile phone in the similar manner if we have to uh, design a product we have to define the desired quality characteristics that we want in that in that pharmaceutical product step 2 that is again understanding the product is identify critical quality attributes once you have identified the tpp or qtpp on the basis of qtpp we can identify the critical quality attributes now again we will take the simple example of uh, buying the mobile phone now once we have written down all the qualities that we want in the mobile phone that we want to buy now out of that if we say that there are two qualities that i must want in, in that mobile phone before purchasing for example camera it should be 60 megapixel and ram should be 16 gb without these two qualities i will not buy the mobile phone so these two qualities are the critical quality attributes that means these two qualities will determine how my mobile will function will it meet my requirements or not in the similar manner in pharmaceutical industry critical quality attributes that means once you have defined the qtpp that is quality target product profile it is like a to z of the product all the information now out of all those information the important ones we have to identify the important ones comes under critical quality attributes so what all comes under critical quality attributes like the properties of the finished product physical chemical biological or microbiological now we will come to the process understanding steps now in order to understand the process what all we need to identify we need to identify process performance indicators critical material attributes critical process parameters process characterization and all this why are we doing it helps to study the impact of if there are any variations in the process parameters or raw materials on proposed cqas so and we can determine the process parameter and raw material criticality so in case of any variations we can determine what are the different process parameters critical process parameters or critical raw material so this all indicators they help us to determine the critical process parameters only then we can understand the process coming to the next part that is the control strategy there are two types of control strategies process control strategy and analytical control strategy so derived these both are derived based on understanding and control of sources of variability so in uh, previous stages we saw we have to determine what are the various sources of variability in the next step is we are trying to control those sources of variability only then we can ensure the product quality as well as consistency therefore for execution of qbd those six steps if you see they are divided mainly in, under three main branches that is product understanding process understanding and control strategy so through this we can understand the six steps of qbd in my next video stay tuned i'll describe all the six stages in detail so that it will give a proper understanding of the qbd approach thank you for watching my videos and stay tuned